Greetings and salutations everyone! No doubt by the title of this video, you know that I tried out Shin Megami Tensei Imagine. An MMORPG that's been shut down for quite some time now, as of 2012. Either way, the version that I am currently playing is a private server. There isn't a whole lot of private servers available, only two from one I could find. One being a rather old server, only in Chinese, and the one that I decided to play had both an English and a Japanese version available. Granted, the English version wasn't fully translated into English, and at times looked like either a complicated math equation or someone literally using their face to type on their keyboard. Maybe a little bit of both, we won't know. But either way, I know for a fact that there was a lot of people that missed this MRPG, and I thought since I finally found a working private server, I'd find out for you guys whether or not it is worth downloading. And let me tell you right here and right now, the download process takes hours, at least for me. Maybe not you, but there's the warning. So let's find out whether or not this private server is a buggy mess or actually worth playing. Now, with this being the first time I'm actually playing Shin Megami Tensei, as I really never had the chance to play it under its original release of area games, I found it rather interesting. First of all, whilst the character creation was rather limited, having only a few faces, height options, hairstyles, and color variations to choose between, you do gain the ability to choose your starter outfit which was rather nice. Not many games do that. And I mean, the character graphics weren't all that bad. Dated, but they weren't bad. And once you finally enter the world, you are greeted with some pretty cool cutscenes. However, unfortunately, they were in gibberish text and voice acted in Japanese, neither of which I am fluent in. I mean, I know a little bit of gibberish living in Australia, but uh, that's beside the point. Luckily, the in-game text information and most of the dialogue were in English, allowing me to get a general idea of how to actually navigate and correctly play this unique MRPG. Until I tried to talk to this guy and learn how to tame, and then it decided to crash. That was kind of unfortunate. But it's all good, I managed to figure it out anyway. Apparently, all you have to do is beat them to a bloody pulp and throw a capture ball at them. Oh, wait, wait a second. Actually, I think that's a different game. <clears throat> to tame a creature in this game, you must politely ask them if they would be so kind as to join your service on your merry adventure in the world of Shin Megami Tensei, whilst they beat you in the face. So it's kind of reversed. Now, the world of Shin Megami Tensei is actually instance. It's not fully open world. You do have to go through loading screens. However, the regions themselves seem rather large and you can explore from the top of the map to the bottom of the map rather freely. And it is filled with so many demons to capture, you'll have too many to actually use. Of course, you will have to wait to the appropriate level to be able to tame specific demons. And you can tell this by the circle next to their name, which is pretty nice. There's also a lot of NPCs to converse with and to take quests off of. And surprisingly, players to interact with. I know, shocking, there are players. I was generally going under the assumption that since it is a private server, I might not be able to see players and it might not be populated. And I know whilst I don't have a chart to base the statistics of players playing, the fact that I saw a bunch of people around, high leveled and low leveled, even brand new characters being made was actually pretty awesome to see. I love seeing populated games and especially a private server of a game that's been long dead. Being populated is just amazing. Now, during my brief adventure, I was able to capture some demons at my side that had some rather poor opinions of me to say the least, but sooner or later, I'm sure they will love me. I mean, I know I bribed them with candies and cookies, only to shove them inside an egg and summon them as my sacrificial meat shields whilst I traverse the regions enslaving more creatures of the same kind, but I mean, guys, I'm a super, super, like, good heroic person sometimes, okay? I only do bad things sometimes. It's not all the time. I don't know what they're complaining about. Anyway, from what I experienced, the server is rather populated, and for the most part, it is not that buggy. And well, there are times when it's not translated, but there is a good amount that's in English. And for the most part, from what I could see, most of the important dialogue and UI info is translated, so you can play without much issue. The only problem is the side missions may or may not make sense. Unless you can understand squares and weird characters, then you'll be fine. And if you ever get stuck on a quest, well, there's Google. 
Google is always your friend. So I would have to say, if you're missing Shin Megami Tensei and you want to relive those years, you might finally be able to do that with Reimagine. So with my final opinion, I'd have to say this is well worth playing. Or at least checking out to see whether or not you like it. With all of that being said and done, I hope you guys have a good day, night, or afternoon, wherever it is where you are, and I will be seeing you guys next time. Okay, cool, I